hey guys welcome back once again thank you so much for the comments and the feedback what i got on my previous videos in today's session we're gonna discuss about msat achieve math test the part of algebra chapter number 10 metrics if you have not gone through the my previous videos please follow the link given in the description box below and you can watch them all and also do like share and subscribe to my channel whenever i upload a new videos you will be notified all right so let's start with the chapter number 10 metrics metrics are simply arrangement of numbers in rows and columns and we have to do certain operations like addition subtraction multiply and and so on so here is an example about addition of the two metrics if A is a matrix and B is in another matrix, then 2A plus B equivalent to what is the result of when these two matrix are added. So first you can see that the matrix A first got multiplied with 2 and that type of multiplication we call it as scalar multiplication. First find out for 2A. So 2 times A it's basically each and every element of the first matrix should be multiplied with 2 so that's the resulting matrix which gives it as 2a so negative 2 1 just multiply them each and every element so 2 times 4 is gonna be 8 so 2 times 0 is gonna be 0 2 times 3 is 6 and also 2 times 0 is 0 2 times negative 2 is gonna be negative 4 2 times 1 is we can say 2 so now this result should be added with matrix B. So now we are going to get for 2A plus B. So let me write the matrix. This is the matrix 2A now. So let me write it as it is 8, 0, 6, 0, negative 4 and 2. Put them together here. Add with matrix B which is 1, 5, negative 2, 0, 0, Four. So adding the matrix is simply combining the like terms. Like terms basically rather than saying like combining the term or the number which present at the same place, it's the same position what I can say. For example here while adding it we have to add 8 plus 1. So you can see that these are the position number present at the same place for the both the matrix. So 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9 then 0 plus 5 is going to be 5 then 6 negative 2 it's going to be 4 the next come to this way 0 plus 0 result is going to be 0 negative 4 plus 0 is going to be negative 4 2 plus 4 here is going to be 6 so this is the result so the resulting matrix is 9 5 4 0 negative 4 6 which matches with option a so you can also do this one on the calculator. You can type the matrices in the calculator, but it needs to use an operations like multiple times. First you type, then you store, then you recall, and then you do a multiplication of this way, but still fine. So you can also do it on the calculator or you can do it manually the way it is here we are doing. Question number two here is given the matrix product, what is the value of X plus Y? Question asking us when this matrix and this matrix has been multiplied, the result is going to be X, Y, Z, W. Now, what is the value of X plus Y in that? So, this one you can straightforward use a calculator. So, when you multiply the two matrix with the certain like, you know, the rules we follow need to follow in the calculator, you get answer as some number. So, just look at to the positions. At the position of X, what is the number? At the position of y, what is the number? Take it out and you can add them accordingly. So here I'm going to do it without using a calculator. Either way is fine. So you need to spend some time while typing in the calculator. In the same way, we can do it manually as well. Because I'm not needed, I'm not interested in solving all the values of uh, whatever the result is going to be. I'm just looking to get answer for x and y. So whatever I get, I can add it. So that's the reason I can do without calculator as well. So when it comes about multiplying the matrix, the rule is the row of the first matrix should be multiplied with the column of the second matrix. 
So row of the first matrix should be multiplied with the column of the second matrix. So the resulting matrix here is going to be first row, first element of the row multiply with the first element of the first column. 1 times negative 1, put it as 1 times negative 1 plus second element of the first row multiplied with the second element of the first column. 2 times negative 3 is going to be 2 times negative 3. This, this entire result represents the first element of resulting matrix. That's basically a value of x. Also, when you multiply first row with the second column, that gives me the value for y. 2 multiplied with, sorry, 1 multiply with the negative 2. Now I'm going to repeat the same step, but this time the second column. 1 multiply with negative 2. It's going to be 1 times negative 2 plus 2 multiply with negative 4. So 2 times negative 4, that gives me the value of y. I'm not going to do for z and w because I don't need it. So you can get it now. The value of x is going to be what? 1 times negative 2 is negative 1 plus 2 times negative 3 is going to be negative 6. Gives me the value of x as negative 7. For the y value here is 1 times negative 2, it's going to be negative 2 plus 2 times negative 4 is going to be negative 8. So 2, negative 8, value of y is going to be negative 10. So what is the value of x plus y? x plus y is negative 7 plus negative 10, answer is going to be negative 17. That is option A again. So this is how you do answering to the questions of this. So if you use a calculator, you'll get answer for all the values x, y, z, w. I'm just doing it without using. So x and y value is enough. So whichever convenient to you, you can do it accordingly. Question number three is if this is the one matrix, added with the another matrix, the resulting is this 6, 12, 89, Z. What is the value of Z? Here asking us this matrix added with this, these are the result, but question is what is the value of Z? The Z is missing here. I mean, Z is the variable rather than a number. What is its value? That's the question. So this one can't be done on calculator because you can see that the matrix has variables like X, Y, and so on. So first of all, I need to get what Z is. If Z is basically adding the last number of this matrix with last number of the second matrix gives me the last number in the result. So something I can say Z is equals to X plus Y. I need to find what is the value of X and what is the value of Y. Apart from this, where is X is again? X is here. Add this one with the two, then the result is going to be what it going to be. The result of that one is going to be 6. So I can write it as x plus 2 is equals to 6. From this, solve for x. x equals to 6 minus 2. x is equal to 4. I got a value for x. Same way, where is y again? y is the term here. You can see that this. This number added with this number. So 6 added with 3y. Result of it is going to be 12. That's what it has been given to us. So I get for the y value here it as 6 plus 3y equals to 12. Ask for it to solve for y, then it's going to be 3y is equals to 12 minus 6. So 3y equals to 6. Divide by 3, divide by 3, the value of y here is going to be 2. So I got a value of x as 4 and value of y as 2, but question is about what is the value of x plus y? So in this case, z is equals to x value is 4 plus y value is 2. The result is going to be 6. That's it for today. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new videos. Thank you so much. See you soon.